down the line. And lastly, which I think is really important, that most people say I'm going to fail and that I'm going to die. And good leadership, in my humble opinion, is all about being the positive person around the table. So, when this all began, this began for me as a dream at the age of 11. Can we do something with the lifestyle of it? Check out that haircut, bit strange. Um, and I saw a film at the age of 11, lights down please a bit. Uh, I saw a film at the age of 11 that inspired me to do this. So guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget your dreams. Hold on to them. And that dream took me to the South Geographic Pole. I actually am the first person in history to walk to both poles, regardless of whether it was unassisted in my underpants backwards or whatever. <laughs> I was just the first person to do it. This began on the edge of Antarctica, uh, where we lay out our equipment. And now remember, I made a promise to the great Jack who smoke we would take away our base camp and equipment. No ship. 3,000 mile swim home. Now in life, you will read a lot of leadership and teamwork books. I'll save you the money. <laughs> the leadership is about one simple thing in my humble opinion. Think carefully before you make a commitment in life. And once you make it, do it. Because no one will listen to you twice. And we made a promise to Jacques Cousteau, and we would deliver on that promise, of which I'm very proud. A team would stay another year in Antarctica, and eventually we took another ship, cleared out that rubbish, and left Antarctica clean and tidy, because that's what we said we were going to do. And that cost me, at the age of 28, a personal debt to the bank of $1.2 million, and I've never had a job. I've still never had a job, and it took 10 years to repay it, but the game was a good. Now, I went, I went to the South Pole because it went down well with girls at parties. You know, the the South Pole has saved the planet. <laughs> you will notice, gentlemen, that there is absolutely nothing hanging down in the sense of area. <laughs> it is your job, gentlemen, to explain to our esteemed ladies later, not now, why this happens to a naked man at minus 60. Let's just say it's a bit cold. Anyhow, we're now 600 miles from the nearest land and the only thing we hadn't planned for happened. The entire ocean starts to break up beneath our feet four months before it ever had. And do remember, we're British led. So we don't have some CNN camera crew filming us. The Weather Channel aren't there interviewing us. 